Hey guys, good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to um, make a bean sprout in your own kitchen. Um, I started this on Monday. No, Tuesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's four days. But I'm going to... Um, the process of this is you need to soak the mongo beans for um, overnight. So I started on Monday night. I'm sorry, I apologize. Monday night, I soaked the water. I soaked the mongo beans in the water, cold water. And I used three tablespoons of mongo beans. So, and then on the following day, which is Tuesday, um, I used the paper towel. You know, soak the paper towel. And then you put the beans. And then this another paper towel. It's wet, and then I covered it, and then I cover a black towel. Okay, so um, let's begin. So today it's actually it's a fifth day. So I'm gonna get some scissors. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you how you clean up your bean sprout. Um, I pull this out here, as you can see. See, and then um, I'm gonna cut it. Okay. You have to remove the um, the roots. Okay, Just like that. And then this one here, I use this um, old um, tub. So when you put some water, when you spray, because you have to spray this every morning, it only take like probably a minute of your time, or not even a minute, maybe 30 seconds. It's important to spray your uh, beans every day and wait with the um, towel. And that's how the bean sprout grow. So, yeah, so this is how, and I'm going to cut more here. Okay, just going to put this right here, this bean sprout. So, if there still have some roots left, then you just cut it. Okay, so they have some more here. Um, so, total time, days rather, uh, five days. One night to soak the beans and then four days to um, spray the water until they complete the days that you want to harvest. Okay, so. Okay. I'm gonna pull this seed, it's stuck on the um, napkin. Then you just have to cut it. Like that. It's only three, three tablespoons to make a bean sprout. So they don't use that much. Bean sprouts has a lot of vitamins in it. You know, vitamin D, there's a protein, so uh, it is really good for for you if you're trying to lose weight, which is me. Um, five years ago, I was like, I think I mentioned one of my video. I was 118, and now I'm 151, so I need to lose weight. Um, especially, I have autoimmune disease. You know, um, I have lupus. Um, lupus, it's not, um, you cannot, it's not a curable, but it's controllable by medicine. And you have to take the medicine for the rest of your life to be able to uh, function and to be able to um, do something, you know, activity day by day. Um, the pain it's just so much pain. Um, I have a lot of pain. Um, and the medicine that I'm taking, like my doctor, you have to check the uh, my liver and my kidney every three months to make sure that uh, my kidney and my liver it's okay. Because the medicine I'm taking is really strong. Um, there's no other way. So I was having trouble to accept the fact that um, I have this disease, but... God, they give you this. Only God knows why he give you that. 
because he has planned for us. But anyway, so let me go back to my bean sprout. Uh, because it's not really even the root, so there's some little bit roots that left after you cut it, but no big deal. You know, you can just cook that. Uh, usually, some people, the bean sprout, they uh, let them grow for like seven days. For me, I'm, I'm craving some bean sprout, so I'm just going to eat that one. Um, I am going to cook this tonight for my dinner, and my husband loved this one as well, so me and him. So yesterday, um, I have um, family dinner for my family. You know, 4th of July, we didn't really get together. So it's important that, you know, you have your family at all time. With my children and my grandkids. My two grandchildren are out of town for vacation with their mom. So just my two and, and my kids and my husband's twin brother. And we have a good time, enjoy the food, you know, because we as Filipino, we like to prefer a lot of food. So, I made some brisket yesterday, and some, uh, what are you, uh, some pancit, which is noodles. So this one here, so there's some few that I need to cut, but if you don't cut all the, um, the roots, no big deal, you know, you can cook it, like, this one's a little bit taller, so you're fine, but like this. So I cook just, I don't worry about the roots. Okay, so as you can see, they still have some stick on the paper towel. So because it's really small, so I'm just not really bothered to cut the roots. Okay. Like that. Okay, so we're done, and I'm gonna wash this. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Oh, there's some few left. I don't wanna waste it, so I'm gonna. You know, um, every every video, every my each of my video, I'm always talking about saving money. You know, if you're really serious in saving money, you know you can do everything in your own home, but it does have mm -hmm. required some of the um some of your preparation does take time like the sausage it does take time you have to be patient um but you know if you want to save money and like per se on weekend you're off you can make those um next to bean sprout is not required a lot of attention you just pray every morning before you go to work that's all the required okay so i'm gonna put this here so they still have some, um, a little bit left here. Okay, but they'll be done. And the green that left right here, they're all the skin. And there's some few things that didn't completely grow. Just like I said, you know, you usually you have to make like seven days. But for me, no biggie. Okay, so I'm just going to harvest it for five days. Okay, because I'm going to cook this tonight. So... What I'm going to do, how I washed it, see the um, mongo bean skin, still that one here, so I'm going to wash this, okay, just wash like this, you know some of my old stuff I used in the kitchen years ago, it's not like I'm hoarding, but if I am use, I can able to use, if I'm able to use it, I saved it. I can use it for everything, anything. I use it for my garden, like a lot of my old trash can. I keep it because I I know that I'm gonna use that for planting vegetables or anything. Um, so yeah, you know, you never know when you need it. Sometimes you just have to, I, I still have a lot of stuff in my garage, but I am going to, um, open it my boxes and I'm gonna donate I think I don't know what's inside but I forgot about it I'm going to um, 
donate to Goodwill. Okay, so I am just going to do like this to make sure. You know, if there's some few mongo beans uh, skin left, no biggie. You know, so like that. And again, if you want to get um, a little bit longer, to grow a little bit longer your um, mango beans, uh, wait until you reach the seven days. But I'm craving for uh, mango beans today. So sometimes I make this raw. Oh, I eat this raw. I'm sorry, I let me refresh that. I eat raw um, mango beans. But sometimes I mix it with my salad. It's really good. It's very healthy, and it's really cheap. Like when you buy it to the store, um, one fourth of mango beans is like four, no, three fifty or four dollars. So right there, I save my money. And plus, I make uh, when I buy a pack of mango beans at the store, at the Asian store, is only a dollar twenty nine. And I like to make my own soup from mungo beans, so I probably take me to use it maybe two weeks. It's only a dollar twenty nine, so you save a lot of money. Okay, so you see the skin. So I'm gonna remove that. Okay. And I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, right here. Okay. So this is how you do it if you are um, growing your own mango beans and how you clean it. You know, they don't really take a very long time. Probably I'm making this tonight with uh, chicken breast. Like what I said, I'm really trying to lose weight. I'm eating a lot of greens, um, some chicken, avoid a lot of fatty, but yesterday I blow my diet, so it's just one day a week, I call that red day, because you can just eat, you eat the fat food, okay, so it's done, okay, and I'm going to bring this up here. You see how much you will, um, how much you will get for the three tablespoon of beans, um, uh, mongo beans. Let me show you here. Get you some. To keep it fresh, my mongo beans, because I'm making this tonight, so... I put in the Tupperware and sealed. I put lids in it, sealed it to, to keep it fresh. Okay, like this. That's it. That's how you make the um, make and clean your mongo beans. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you would like to receive a notification, please subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, share. Thank you so much for your patience and your time to watch my video. And I truly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.